Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another plan with me. So I had every intention of making this like a longer video, but when I went in to edit, I just wasn't happy with like the talk through portions of it. So I just sped everything up and we're doing a voiceover. This week I am using this kit from Scribble Prince, Prince Co. Wow, I cannot talk. And this is the November 2020 mystery. I just thought this was perfect for winter and I really wanted to use it. It's a beautiful kit. So I was like, you know what? January seems like the perfect time to use this kit because it's very wintry, just very, you know, um, perfect for January. I feel like January never really has like a, a good theme. It's just winter, you know? So like February has Valentine's Day and March you get into like St. Patrick's Day, but January is just kind of like winter. So that is why I went with this like wintry mermaid kit. I think it's beautiful. I love the way that this spread turned out and I love using Scribble Prince Co. stickers. I think she does an amazing job on um, putting the kits together and everything like that. So yeah, that's that's what it is. That's what we were doing for this week. So this week, nothing really super exciting happened this week. I feel like it was just kind of a boring week. Um, it was, I'm pretty sure this was my first full week of work since like the end of November. So it was just more like work related things and trying to get caught back up with stuff. So maybe that's why I feel like it was kind of boring. There wasn't like a lot going on, but anyway, let's just get into the day by day. So on Monday, I allowed myself to sleep in. I don't even remember why. I think we had something, um, we stayed up late on Sunday or something and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna give myself a little bit of time to like regroup from that. So I just let myself sleep in, kind of get myself back together. Um, January is always a really hard month for me. So I really tried to just give my body rest and just be kind to myself and not overdo it. You know, I think it can be easy to be like, okay, I gotta do all the things. Um, and sometimes you just don't take care of yourself. And I, January is just one of those months that I just need to give myself extra love, you know? So for this day, I worked on some sticker orders. I ended up putting this work header right there just because I didn't know what to put right there and, you know, whatever. So I worked on some sticker orders and then I designed some stickers because it had been way too long since I had come out with new releases. So definitely wanted to get that done for the week. And then after that, I did upload a YouTube video as well as we had dinner. I honestly don't even remember what we had for dinner, but I wrote down dinner. So I'm not really sure. Oh, you know what? We had Mexican food. We actually went and got dinner with our friends. So anyway, we had dinner. We like went and got dinner with our friends because we were just like hanging out and we like needed to talk about some stuff. So went and had dinner with them. So then on Tuesday, I'm, I guess I'm working from the bottom up, but on Tuesday I put this half box at the bottom because we ended up getting Thai food for dinner that night. And clearly I just came back from Christmas break and was like not wanting to cook or do anything like, you know, adulting. <laughs> I just couldn't deal with it. Anyway, so we did that. And then I put a little page flag down to mark puppy cuddles because I just apparently cuddled with my dogs and just was not feeling doing like like doing anything. I don't know. Then I put a little quarter box to mark a film a plan with me. And then at the top, I put this little box that says design stickers. So that was pretty much my day. I just did a lot of designing. I filmed a plan with me because I'm way behind on all the plan with me's. Then I got puppy cuddles and we had Thai food for dinner. So that was our Tuesday. Moving on to Wednesday, I did more designing because like I said, this was really my first full week of work in 2023 and basically since Thanksgiving. So I wanted to make the most of it. I designed a bunch of stuff for new releases because I had not released anything since like our Black Friday event, which was like the beginning of November. So yeah, because I'm because we did Black Friday early this year. So I hadn't released anything since then. It had been like two months. So I did a lot of designing. So I put a design sticker up at the top and then I had a YouTube YouTube binge session um, that I also marked. And then I just cleaned the house. We did some grocery shopping and I also went to Starbucks. So 
that was kind of the day for me. Um, you know, not, not a lot of craziness. It was literally just a lot of work and just kind of chilling. So anyway, I, I don't know. The, the weeks are going to get more interesting. In fact, the back half of this week actually gets interesting, but just like the first part of it, I feel like I was just working and obviously eating out way too much because I just didn't feel like cooking for some reason. So I'm also trying to use a lot of the icons and the deco pieces in this kit because I just wanted to make good use of this kit. And also, I mean, some of the things I didn't have an icon for. So I was like, I'll just use deco. It's totally fine. Moving on to Thursday. Thursday was probably like the busiest day of the week. And just in terms of like, I had a lot of things that I could mark on this day, I guess. So um, there's going to be like a lot of little things in this spread or just this part of the spread because I wanted to mark a lot of different things. But mainly what I did this day is I continue to design stickers I worked on sticker orders and then I had like all the new releases ready so I needed to work on the photos and the listings for that so I marked that as well and then we had JBQ practice and after that we went to Office Depot because I believe I needed like an envelope to ship an order and then I also went to crumble that night because we crumbles like really close to where we were going and they had I don't remember what flavor they had, but there was something that I really wanted to try. So I was like, let's just go to Crumble and get a cookie. Or we probably got like a ton of cookies, like four cookies or whatever. Because we normally if we go, if there's something that like we want to try, we'll get like the four like new cookies of the week or whatever. So that's probably what happened. I don't know. Anyway, moving on to Friday, I had new releases that I was putting up for the first time in forever. I also sent out an email talking about the new releases and then I needed to promote the new releases because it's not enough to just like pu click publish on your website and on Etsy and just be done with it. You have to like tell social media about it and you have to like post it everywhere so people can see and you know, there's a lot that goes into new releases that I think people don't really realize that you have to do so that's a little you know behind the scenes for you guys um, and then after that I cleaned the house and I decided to relax for the night because you know cleaning the house it just takes a lot out of you moving on to the weekend I put up this cute little weekend banner and then I just started marking what we did for the week so this weekend was kind of crazy we had a JBQ meet which if you guys don't know I've talked about it before but if you guys haven't seen any of those videos JBQ stands for Junior Bible Quiz, and you are quizzing over, you know, facts from the Bible. And our niece is in it, so I'm her coach because Bible Quiz holds a very special place in my heart. I did JBQ and TBQ. I went to nationals with both of them. And actually, TBQ is where I met James. We actually quizzed, or we went to JBQ nationals the same year, but I don't know if we quizzed each other, and I don't even remember if we, like, met or not because at the time I lived in Missouri and he lived in North Carolina, but we actually ended up meeting in TBQ. So Bible quiz just holds a special place in my heart. So anyway, we helped with that. We had the JBQ meet. And then after that, we hung out with our friends because that's just what we do now. And we went to this place called Drake's and it was pretty good. And then we had a game night. I believe we played zombie side. And then on Sunday, it was James's birthday party. So had to clean the house. We ordered Buffalo Wild Wings for our like the dinner. We went to the grocery store and then we partied like way too late that night. Like I think our friends ended up leaving like after midnight sometime. So we we partied hard. We had like a rock band party and then after that we played Zombie Side again and we just had a good good old time. So it's been really fun to hang out with people. So Anyway, that is basically the week for you guys. I then go back and I just put down the rest of the full boxes on the sidebar because I didn't really have anything to mark in the sidebar. But yeah, that was that was this week. It was just kind of blah, you know, just kind of boring. Um, 
just working and stuff but i will say i forgot that we hung out with our friends like a ton this week so that was exciting we've just i've been a little social butterfly lately it's been great but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this spread let me know if you did in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys